Now, it's very rare that one single piece of technology will benefit everyone. But when something new comes along that can take a voice recording like this, recorded outside on a phone with no external microphone, and turn it into something like this by simply dragging and dropping, it definitely has my attention. Now, ordinarily on this channel, I share content that is for people with a particular interest in things like photography, retouching, and kit. But this is genuinely for everyone. It's called Project Shasta, and it's from Adobe Labs. And its AI takes poor quality voice recordings and voice recordings with background noise and claims to turn it into audio that sounds like it was recorded in a studio without any technical knowledge or extra kit needed. In fact, this is all there is to it. A single page website, nothing to download, that you simply drag and drop an audio file onto and just kick back and let the AI work its magic. Now there's a sample recording on the website that you can listen to and turn it off and on to get an idea of what this is capable of. But I'm always very skeptical about claims made like this, so I recorded my own. I purposely recorded some poor sounding audio using just my phone outside. I then drag and dropped the audio file into Project Shasta. It took just a few moments whilst the AI worked on it and then I could play the audio to hear what it now sounded like. And I'll toggle this on and off so you can hear the difference. But when something new comes along that can take a voice recording like this, recorded outside on a phone with no external microphone, that is just so much better. And all I've done is just drag and drop. I could then just download the enhanced audio file by clicking on the button and that's it. Okay, so now I'm really interested. Let's take it a step further. Imagine you have an audio recording from years back. This could be a recording of a loved one that has since passed. So it's something that's incredibly important to you. But unfortunately, the voice recording quality isn't good and it seems to be getting worse. Well, here's a recording my Uncle Jeff sent over to me. And this is of a close friend of his called Richard Rutter, who was awarded the Military Medal for actions he took during World War II. My Uncle Jeff interviewed him for one of the books he was writing, and this is part of the original audio. After the Orne Bridge Yard, um, well, before the Orne Bridge Yard, we hadn't got much of an idea where we were going to. I'll now drag that original audio into Project Shasta and let the AI do its thing. And when it's done, this is what the artificial intelligence enhanced version now sounds like. After the Orne Bridge Yard, um, well, before the Orne Bridge Yard, we haven't got much of an idea where we're going to. Absolutely incredible, because what this has done is priceless, because sadly a few years ago, Richard passed away, but now the audio does sound like it did originally when he and my uncle were sat together, and you cannot put a price on that. Now, there's a saying that if you want better video, then get better audio. And that's why I took down some of the tutorials off my website that I recorded quite a while ago, because in my opinion, the audio quality just wasn't good enough. But since then, I've invested a lot of money in my audio equipment with better microphones, audio interfaces and software. But check this out. Here's what one of those old tutorials sounded like. Hi, I'm Glyn Jewis, and I just want to say a huge thank you for purchasing this full length downloadable tutorial called The Editor. The audio just sounds awful, tinny, echoey, just not good. But if I open the tutorial into Adobe Premiere Pro and just export the audio from it out onto my desktop, then I drop that audio into Project Shasta. Once the AI has done its thing, I then download the audio, import it back into Premiere Pro, and then drop it onto the timeline and turn off the original audio. This is what it now sounds like. Hi, I'm Glyn Jewis, and I just want to say a huge thank you for purchasing this full length downloadable tutorial called The Editor. There is no comparison, it is so much better. Now should I put the tutorials back online? Now one last thing I've tested this out on so far is with some audio from the He Shoots, He Draws podcast, hosted by my great friends Dave Clayton and Alan Hess. 
Now, in this particular episode, Alan, who lives in San Diego, had his air conditioning on in the background, and you can clearly hear it. Don't judge the colors by what you're looking at on your little laptop screen that's never seen calibration ever. You know, we need to send you a test print to, you know, and look at the print. So now I'll take the audio and drop it into Project Shasta. And this is now the enhanced audio. Don't judge the colors by what you're looking at on your little laptop screen that's never seen calibration ever. You know, we need to send you a test print to, you know, and look at the print. The background noise of the air conditioning completely gone, but we still get to hear Alan's deep, manly voice. Now, yeah, I know the noise of the air conditioning could have possibly been removed in something like Adobe Audition using a noise removal process, but this was done by simply dragging and dropping the audio so no software and no technical knowledge was needed, meaning it can be used by anyone. Now, to use Project Shasta, all you need is an Adobe account. If you don't have one, just click on Sign In, then Create Account. Fill in your details and you're good to go. Also, at the moment, Project Shasta works in the Google Chrome browser and the audio files need to be in .wav or .mp3. And each file can be up to one hour in length and up to one gigabyte in size. And when processing the audio files, I've experienced it taking anything from a few seconds to just a few minutes. So there you go, Project Shasta, available for you to use right now. I've added links to this in the description, but also check out the two videos on the Project Shasta website because these tell you where this is all going and shows you more of what you can do, like mic checking for best quality and also podcast recording and editing without any additional equipment. Of course, nothing beats recording with a great mic and in a room designed for recording, but this is so good for rescuing poor quality voice recordings, voice recordings with background noise, or old recordings that were recorded years ago that are just getting worse and worse. And this is only going to get better and better. But wow, it is already really impressive. Okay, so that's all for this video, except to remind you that you can still get a free pass for the upcoming Lightroom Virtual Summit 2022, which is a week-long event with 15 instructors, 45 classes, and over 33 hours of content and more that is free to watch. I'm doing sessions on printing, color grading, and a complete workflow using Lightroom on a photo shoot on location. And then there's the other 42 other classes from the other instructors. The link you need for your free pass is in the description. Right, I'm done. So as always, I'd really appreciate giving us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, click on subscribe because as you know, that's just a great way that you can support this channel completely for free. And if you do try out Project Shasta, let me know in the comments. But for now, that's me. I'm done. I'll catch you in the next video.